Welcome to this Dharma If You Dare bonus episode. We hope you enjoy this soundbite from Doug Capel Duncan and Catherine Poisserat Sensei on how to access higher states of consciousness through clearing the lower three chakras. Curious if the chakras are integrated in order, like, like the paramis. No. Good, good question. <laughs> However, you can trigger transcendent love, you can trigger uh, complete communication, you can trigger intuitive wisdom, and you can trigger uh, divine wisdom, but it's not sustainable. You can't hold it. You can't. It's like uh, you can't access it when you can't. Yes, you would like to. Exactly. It's it's, it's like, like a, states of grace. You, you get a state. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. You get a state of grace. You, you just got lucky, but you can't get. So you think, oh, OK, I had that feeling when I was like gardening. So then next Wednesday you go out and garden. And it's not there because it's not in the garden. Or you had that feeling when you were having sex. Yes. Or you had that feeling when you were doing drugs. Right. And you go back and it's not there. You, and then you blame the thing. Oh, gardening sucks. Or that sexual partner sucks, or this sucks. Well, it's because it's the lower three chakras have to be cleared largely, but almost completely before the access to the higher chakras. And Saturn, we talked about this earlier, Saturn is the discipline and the training of the ego being taken apart at its core, not destroyed, not defeated, but taken apart to see the mechanisms by which the self clings or adheres or ties itself into its fabric. And that's very, very energetic and very, very scary to the ego, but very, very liberative to the being. It's really important to work on these lower chakras for our spiritual practices because a lot of the meditations are about creating the supportive conditions for the cosmic energy to arise in our spine. And that goes well if we've done all this prep work, basically if the chakras are integrated and cleaned up, I guess so the blocks are cleared. And if we do those advanced meditation practices and those blocks have not been cleared, then it's sort of like a mudslide kind of log jam been released and uh, now there's a flood kind of thing. It's very discombobulating. And there's a, a lot of stories about spiritual practitioners who've had that experience. And then you've got to kind of go back and try to do remedial work to fix it afterwards. And uh, it, it can be done, but it's uncomfortable, very uncomfortable process. So are the, the clearing of the lower three chakras, is that synonymous with awakening or can it no. happen before? Or? Well, it happens before, yes, but it's not synonymous with awakening. It's the platform. If awakening is a, a rocket ship, you want to have a good launching pad, right. right? You can have a really awesome rocket ship, and if you don't have a good launching pad, it's sure. going to be kind of disastrous. What is synonymous is the parami. Perfection of the parami is synonymous with awakening. Mm. Generosity, patience, energy, Coolness in the face of desire. I don't mean like disinterested or dispassionate, but not being possessed by desire. Concentration, absorption, like totally absorbed in what you're totally absorbed in the now, totally absorbed in the moment, totally absorbed here, not back there, not over here. Be here now, except there's no here, no now, but never mind. Do it anyway. Right? And wisdom. Wisdom is a result of the first five, and they're not perfected in order, but they're developed in order. And for you people coming to work, oh, sorry, art, they're not developed in order, but they're perfected in order. Yeah, did you mean to say? Yeah, yeah. did I say the reverse? You did. Oh, pardon me. We hope you enjoyed today's soundbite. Today's bonus recording covers ideas that Doug and Catherine explore in detail in their best-selling book, Wasteland to Pureland. The third section of the book is entitled Crazy Wisdom and covers a wide variety of topics, including the shadow, tantra, and money, sex, and power. Podcast listeners can download a free chapter from this section of the book by visiting planetdharma.com slash crazywisdom.
see you next time, and may all our efforts benefit all beings.